Wow. Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome back to the Dukes and the Dukettes. For those who are subscribed, make sure you subscribe, it's free. Also, like this video before it starts and also comment down below what other video you'd like to see me react to next. Um, yeah, and let's, and let's uh, get straight into this video. It's from Swoozy, another video from Swoozy. Uh, this one is fast and curious too. So, uh, I guess he had a part one. I haven't seen the part one, but I'm pretty sure it was a good one. Swoozy has, has some great storytelling uh, video. So let's go ahead and get into the story time, man. Fast and Curious. I guess the person's going to be probably fast and curious. Let's get in it. Boom. House in my SpongeBob underwear. Yes. That's important to the story. Walk into the kitchen to get myself a little snacky snack. My dad walks in. He's standing there with his look on his face. What's wrong with you? I just got a new engine for my Beamer. Okay, you want a cookie? Let's go. What do you mean? You need to see what all this power is like. You're driving around in your little Toyota Corolla. You need to see what it's like to have... Why does he have black lips? Let's go. Well, hold on, what? <clears throat> You need to see what all this power is like. You're driving around in your little Toyota Corolla. You need to see what it's like to have a real man's car. Let's go. I spent a lot of money on this engine. Okay, let me go put some pants on. Let's go. Dad, I'm not getting in the car in my underwear. You're not getting out of the car. You're getting in the car, driving up the street, and coming back. Okay, I'm just gonna... Good. The keys. Now my dad is the chillest dude I know, and it takes a lot for him to get this aggravated this quickly. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'll get the keys. <laughs> get the keys. I'm gonna walk from my house to the car, and the neighbors could possibly see you. Open the front door, peek out. No hey, I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but going outside naked in your underwear, I mean, that's not naked, but in your underwear, right? You still feel naked, either way. It, like towel or underwear you, you're exposed right um i don't know if you guys have ever been in a situation like that where you had to go outside uh and and like probably like run to the front door or something like that because you're locked out or whatever it may be but i have done that and only because i got locked out of my of my uh room somehow because my room has like an extra door uh back back at the crib and i <clears throat> and so what happened was I finished taking a shower locked myself out of my room but I had the outside door that was you know open so I had to go out the house uh, the I had to go out the door that led to outside and kind of like go around the house to the front door just so I can get so just so somebody can open me inside the house because I locked myself outside my room door how because my uh my room door bathroom has the locks on the outside of the bathroom so if you lock it you're gonna be locking it from the outside and the inside doesn't have any locks so if you lock from the outside you're gonna be locked in so i was locked in and the second door which led to outside obviously has the locks on the inside so i opened that went outside the door and i swooped around to to you know the side of the house or the front of the house trying to get you know find a way in and i was in a towel I was in the towel and exposed, so <clears throat> I felt naked. I felt, I, actually I was, really. I just had a towel over it. If anything happened to the towel, if it, if it gets snatched off, I'm, I'm free balling. I'm free balling out there. So I was definitely naked, but, but let's continue. I start sneaking to the car like this is Metal Gear Solid. He's following behind me all slow, shaking his head like, I have raised an idiot. You made him go outside. And there's this long stretch of road from the entrance of my development to the first house. He made him go outside. So I start driving to leave the neighborhood. Punch it. Dad, we're still in the neighborhood. I said, punch it. Hey, what's wrong with his dad, man? McWee in the neighborhood, so maybe... How about no? Stop being a little punk. Punch it. Okay. Wow, Dad, it's a nice 
license and you got there, bro. You're such a little wimp. Turn the car around. I get to the entrance, turn around. Punch it. Okay, Dad. OMG-ness. This is growing my mind. Can we go home now? No, no, you're such a little punk. For it. Pedal to the metal. You know what that means? Okay, old man. So you have chosen death. And I go full Dominic Toretto. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I glance over at him and he's like... <laughs> Get to the entrance, turn around. Oh, snap. Get to the first house, turn around. Hey. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm ready to die now. Oh, snap. In the corner of my eye, I notice this Lexus in my rear view mirror is darting up on me. So I start slowing down. This dude comes from behind me and busts like a knife. Low key freaking out because oh, snap. This guy's blocking the road in both directions. This guy gets out, slams his door. <laughs> Do you have any idea? And he looks at me. And he sees me in my extra medium SpongeBob tidy whities Do you have any idea what what are you doing? My kids are playing in the driveway. They're like huge veins bulging out of this dude's neck. But what made this oh even more gosh. scary is this dude looks like the office nerd that never speaks. If you saw him at work and you were like, "Hey Todd, how's it going?" He'd be like, <laughs> "Hey, when it comes to the kids, there's one key." Hey, when it comes to the kids, man, you gotta be a lion. You gotta be a lion out here. Ain't no, you know, oh, please, yeah, uh, stop driving fast. Nah, you gotta almost bite somebody's head off, man, because that's that's the kids. For sure. He didn't know. My dad is from Trinidad. Never run up on a Trini who's lived in New York. So then he Oh, he's from New York? My dad's in a crazy person. This is a private road. I can drive as fast as I want. I can do whatever I want. So then it's just a yelling competition at this point. It's a private road, but my kids. It's a private road, but my kids. And I'm in the middle like. So while all this is going on in my head, I'm just waiting for my dad to jump out the car because I know that's what's next. And I'm praying to God that doesn't happen. Because if he jumps out the car, I'm gonna have to jump out the car and pull him off of this dude. Because I already know how that story's gonna end. And then what happened? Well, then we left Bible study and we pulled into our neighborhood and there were these two guys fighting. No, 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 nobody cares about that part. Tell us. About the crackhead. Oh, yeah, there was this crackhead in the middle of the street dancing and cheering them on, and he was butt naked. It was Susie from YouTube. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. All YouTubers are on crack. Back to you guys in the studio. So I'm here just giving my dad this look like. Please don't get out of the car. Now, when you want the war with a Trini slash New Yorker, the best you can do is break even. You're not gonna. Hey, yo, get your Tim, son. Was clearly the aggressor when he ran up on us. By the time my dad was done with them, he was like. So then my neighbor stomps back to his car and he takes off back to his house. And I'm like, Dad, he's right. Well, he should keep the kids inside the house because kids, kids don't even play outside no more. See, I know he's still mad and I'm not trying to argue, so I just did it right there. Talk to me nice. Not for nothing, my dad was the representative during that whole altercation because. I didn't say anything the entire time. Cause you never know the ripples that your action caused. I've seen the movie Butterfly Effect. I know how this works. Actually, I never saw the movie, but I saw the trailer and I kind of know what the movie's about. I just didn't want this to be how our neighbor remembers us. So I get home, go inside, put on some clothes, and then drive over to my neighbor's house. I pull up and his kids are still outside. Get out of the car and I kind of see that his garage is open. So I start walking to the garage. His son is in the grass playing with a ball. And as soon as he sees me, he's like, so I start walking around <laughs> the garage and I can see the dad in the garage and you can tell he's still mad by his body language. <laughs> so then I yell out to him like, excuse me, sir. And he turns and when he sees it's me, he goes. <laughs> this man looked at me like I was a Terminator coming for him and his unborn child. And hey, these animations are pretty nice. So I was like, uh, think fast, talk fast. Uh, sir, no, 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 uh, it's a sir. Sorry for how my dad was acting back there. You were right. He just got a brand new engine and he wanted me to test it out. Very sorry. Once my dad saw that the road was empty and nobody was around and nobody can get hurt, he wanted me to test out his engine. I want to come over here and just, you know, apologize. <sighs> well, I 
Um, thank you for coming and letting me know this. So I appreciate that. Um, well, name's Adonde. If you ever need anything, I'm in that White House, three houses down. Later that night, I start thinking to myself, I know this dude is going to tell his wife about all this. And I can oh, yeah, for imagine sure. how his version of the story is going to go. Honey. For like, sure, yeah. It's always going to be spiced up. It's always going to be, bro, it's going to be ten times, like, severe of what it actually was, bro. Come on. Neighbors were racing in the neighborhood, and I ran down behind them and got to their car, and I put them in their place. Don't you ever come in here in my neighborhood and race. Sir, yes, sir, we'll never do it again. You're so big and strong. And they were petrified of me. I think our neighbors are cross-dressers. There's nothing wrong with it, I'm just saying. They are both in there wearing women's lingerie. And also, I can smell crack in the car. I'm going to call the HOA first thing in the morning and let them know. I think our neighbors are cross-dressing drug dealers. You're such a brave man, honey. I'm so sorry for ever cheating on you with the janitor on that cruise ship. It's all right, honey. Love you. Good night. Look at this, they're sleeping in separate beds. What kind of what kind of marriage y'all got going over there? Um, <clears throat> another another uh, crazy story time from Suzy. Look, man, uh, driving crazy fast in a neighborhood is never a good thing to do. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what made his dad want to do that, but I know because he said no, nobody was in the road. But still, man, like. Around neighborhoods, driving super fast is always going to be something that can probably come in front of your car spontaneously, you know? I don't know. Um, let me know what your thoughts are about this video. Another great video from Suzy. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I already said comment, but there you go. Comment. Uh, subscribe is free. All right? Join the Dukes and the Dukettes, okay? Come on. Join us. Till next time, Eddie at TV. Catch you guys next time.